the crap they know 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 the crap they know
I'm just gonna grab two cups. We use that one for the hardener. And you want to get it, prime it. This is what this is what they consider priming, okay? I already pressed it two times. That was my third. That's my fourth. So my fourth, I've actually got a little bit. I'll show you. I've got a little bit that came out. Can you see that? Okay. It's only that little bit came out. So what I'm going to do, go with one full pump. Okay. I'm going to make sure. Another scream. And so you want to do that. And for me, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my top back off. All right. Take my top back off. And I'm just going to pour this right back in my jug. Okay. Because around here, we don't waste resin. You know. Just don't waste it. Let's just sit it, sit that there for a minute because I have some leakage. <clears throat> so I'm I'm just taking y'all through this so that y'all will see, y'all will know, you know, um, this is real time stuff. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. I just want to be able to show you exactly how it does, what it do, the um instructions on it okay just trying to get the rest of this um this out so i'm gonna lift my little lid over so i'm just gonna pour that right back in there okay pour it right back in every little bit every little bit helps so yeah, you do need your gloves on, okay? I'll let you know that you do need your gloves on because you see what I did, all right? But I'm gonna use my alcohol to make sure that I get it all off. So now I'm gonna take my other cup. I'm not gonna use that same cup, I'm using another cup. And you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is push down Got to prime it. Oh, that one came right out. All right. So, but I want a steady stream. Okay. Steady stream. So, I'm done with that. I'm not going to take that out anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and place this back into the container. All right. Just place it right on back in there. All right, as we do not want to waste it. Resin costs too much, and there's so many things that I could possibly make. <laughs> okay, so won't waste none around here. So I'm putting my top back on. All right, there. I tightened it and when you use it um, you know just make sure that your end pieces on, on your pump just make sure they're wiped so you won't make a mess all right you don't want to make a mess so now that that's done all right um, it says dispense and mix your epoxy dispense the resin and hardener into a clean dry container for every one pump of resin, dispense one full pump of hardener. Mix thoroughly for two to three minutes. Take care to scrape, taking care to scrape the sides and the bottom of the container to blend the mixture completely. All right. Do not adjust mix ratios or tamper with pumps. Proper cure is de uh, dependent on using the exact recommended mix ratio. Adding more hardener to make epoxy set faster will actually prevent it from curing properly. Remember, dispense only one pump of resin to one pump of hardener. So this is already set, y'all. One pump, one pump. 
one pump each okay so um that was the instructions uh uh, let's see make sure yeah this is this is just the back it's it's the same um that this one the front was only the hardener actually yeah dispense on one part. okay yeah so um it tells you all the instructions and then on the back it tells you the instructions same thing um everything is still the same let's see dispense uh and mix your epoxy dispense the resin and harden to a clean dry container for every one pump of resin dispense one for okay yes it is it is the same so it doesn't tell me like my work time i'd like to know my work time but i don't know um my work time and this was sent to me so let me look at the back and see will the back tell me okay um i'm looking soap and water or vinegar uh okay that's just to clean it up uh response no nah. mm -mm. so let me read this top part total boat high performance two to one epoxy resin part Parts with your choice of high performance, performance two to one, fast, medium, or slow hardeners to create a non-blushing, low viscosity epoxy. Idea for laminating, um, layups, sealing wood, and vacuum bagging. Hmm. Combined with fillers for a high strength banding, filling, and fairing. This two to one epoxy cures clearer than five to one systems and features flex properties, flex for wooden boat construction or repair, low viscosity, low viscosity, low odor formula for indoor or shop use. Okay. It says surfaces should be clean and dry. Um, oh, this writing is real small. Clean and dry, sand it with 60 to 100 grit sandpaper before application and remove dirt, dust, grease, loose paint, oils, or other contaminants. Wipe the surface using a clean, lint-free rag. Dampen with acetone, uh, denatured alcohol, or isopropyl alcohol to remove any um, contaminants or dust. Applications for best use of this product only under temperature conditions recommended in this specific hardener. Add two parts, part one resin to one part, two part hardener by volume. See specific mix ratio on the desired hardener when measuring by weight for, um, then it also says mix for two minutes, add any thickening agents um then apply pot life and cure time are dependent on environment conditions and harden hardener being used the cure of total boat high performance two to one epoxy is an uh etheremic reaction which will produce heat environment temperature and the hardener choice will dictate cure rate and peak um ethereum but that's all it tells me uh it doesn't give me an exact time frame that i would need to work with it i guess it's all dependent on you know the weather conditions that you are working in uh, for an example, if you're um, working in an area that's really, really hot, then it's going to cure faster, okay? If you're working in an area that's um, kind of kind of cool, then your resin will be cool. I mean, it'll, it'll cure slowly. I'm sorry, but I have dropped everything down because of me reaching back. 
just trying to get some things situated over here. Since I'm back in my area, y'all. Oh, yes, honey. So proud. So, so, so proud. Okay, so I'm going to sit that there. Um, I'm going to try these coasters right here again. That's what I'm going to use. It's, it has the coaster and the holder. Um, I wasn't uh, pleased the last time that I used it. Um, so I'm just going to try and see how Total Boat um, will, will it be a little bit different. Okay, that's just that. So let me finish getting prepared and I will be right back. Okay, so let me give you the rundown. <clears throat> I put 14 pumps of each. Um, part A, I mean part one and part two, which is like our part A and part B. So I'm mixing, um, it gives me round about probably a five ounces or a little more over five ounces i'm mixing this um i'm gonna try to like do my normal speed as in mixing okay i do need to put on my gloves i haven't put them on yet which is something that i try to make sure that i do you know and for any new people that are watching this video all right i do not wear a respirator however i advise you to wear your respirator because i i can't breathe in my respirator so i do have a air purifier here in my shop and so i strongly suggest that you use your respirator um, in the case that, you know, um, just for your health, you're dealing with chemicals, all right? So I don't want you to do anything that you're not supposed to do when it comes down to creating your artwork. I must speak of that first above everything else. Um, also, there are times when you may know how this particular resin works and feel free to fast forward at any given time. I'd like for you to watch everything so that you will know and you'll see every step, okay? And um, I meant to go ahead and put you all up here with me as I pumped into my cup. So I t I'll tell you what, let me move my camera over this way a little bit, okay there's my um resin all right so i'm gonna i'm only gonna do one one pump all right of my total boat and one pump there okay just so that you can see that you know i i did use uh total boat i just for some reason I, I was getting it right and I was like, oh gosh, I didn't record me pu putting it in the cup. So I just want to make sure. So now uh, I am at about 170 milliliters. Okay. So again, I'm stirring around. It's just like any other resin. You want to make sure that you know you stir thoroughly you do your sides of course your bottom wipe your stick okay and you want and this is really thin this is something i'm not i'm i'm really not used to okay so this this is something different something different for me I'm, I'm used to a resin being a whole lot more thicker than this one. So uh, that'll be enough of what I want in here. I'm using three colors. So what I'm gonna do, I have three cups to the side. Let's make sure you can see that as well. Right there. Okay. Today I'm gonna use uh, 
Old Wine by Baltic Day. I'm also going to use White Pearl by May Spring. And I'm also going to use Charcoal Black by May Spring. So I'm just going to divide this up. I'll start with uh, 40 milliliters each. I'll start with that. and I would love to have some more clear but I have about one and a half ounces left of my clear just going to put it to the side uh, let me grab my gloves really quick just use these little gloves like I said, feel free to fast forward at any time um, that you feel like you need to. It's no problem. Um, let's get this right. There's something in my mold that I need to get really quick. Something must have failed. I haven't used this mold in so long, but it's okay. <laughs> it's really okay. So I'm gonna use uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of mica. I'm going with the white pearl. All right. Just gonna shake it off. All right. I think that'll do it. Going in next with my charcoal black. It's so hard for me to open stuff with these gloves on. Okay, let's just get a paper towel to wipe my spoon. I don't want anything transferring. So this is my one fourth teaspoon of my charcoal black. And then I am going to get my Baltic Day Old Wine. Just trying to clean my little spoon a little bit more. It's my old wine. finish with this then I can take and make sure everything is cleaned up nicely um, okay give me one second okay I had to get some more popsicle sticks <laughs> so as usual this is how I mix my mica I try to poke it down and then start to mix That's what happens if you don't get it all poked down. The mica will run away from you. Okay. Just blending this really good. Trying to at least. All right. I'll let that one sit there and let's go for the charcoal black that's what I meant by submerging it so that it can it won't splash everywhere and then you can start to stir and then you can get faster as it soaks into the resin okay
and on this I will be doing you know a puddle pour I like the way that um, the last port -a -port puddle pour done that I've done it looked really nice in those kintsugi molds with the uh, it looks gray thought that was cute so that I can tell uh, total boat is melting the um, the mica powder so that's that's a good sign to me because I've had resins before that didn't accept mica powder that well now as you can see I have this one I didn't have mixed very well so but I've got to hurry up because I feel there's a little warmth okay there's a little warmth going on um, that I can feel this one is fine so let's get some alcohol because I did get some mica powder into the mold and I just did it with a little bit of alcohol just trying to wipe it out this is basically a test so if anything you know if it don't look great or whatever it's okay because this is a test I've never used total boat and I'm I'm proud to have it to try it very proud so let's make sure you can see everything still and you can let's see more this way all right so I'm gonna start with hmm I don't know I'm gonna start with the uh, the wine Okay, I'm just go ahead and take my little popsicle sticks out. Or do I want to start with clear? <laughs> oh my. That's me. Mine never's made up. Okay. So I'll just do a little little puddle here little puddle here All right little puddle here and a puddle here <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this black come off of my container disturbing me <laughs> okay so I said I wanted to start with the old wine but I changed my mind I'm gonna go with the white let's get a paper towel to catch the drips all right so I'm gonna go with this white pearl did not take my table and um, make sure that everything was in the it was level so I don't know I really don't know what this is gonna turn out to be like oh that black is gorgeous on top of that white pearl so some pretty big puddles I like them. So what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of clear. Okay. Just that little bit.
y'all know what I don't see any bubbles like get out of here really I'm gonna go with my wine Trying to make that push out a little bit more. Oops. So that one dot <laughs> is going to get me. It's pretty. It is pretty. This is going to be gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. My gracious almighty. That is gorgeous. It's almost there. Now I will go with another mm, do black it's a small small ring okay so it needs to be a little bit bigger right Then we will go back to this old wine. Drop. Oh well. Gorgeous. Whew. I need more clear. Um, like I really don't have enough to do anything, so I'm just gonna add me some more clear in here. Let's see, one pump. Oh, come on. <laughs> That looks nice. Four. So I got me four pumps of the resin. One, two, three, and four. Four pumps of the hardener try to gradually get this mixed blended 
those spots that you see it's like possibly mica powder that has not been blended properly so you know if you if you're going fast and you're doing things really quick that's that's what's gonna happen that's exactly what's gonna happen so what I'm doing now is just mixing the little bit of the um, resin so that I can pour into the center I, I did not stir this one as uh, slow as I did the other one but I think it's still fine so that's gonna be my clear center um, and that I can remember you couldn't like totally fool these up because it, it it was just not made properly from the manufacturer so I won't fill them up completely and so now I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, clear to the black. Add a little bit into the white. And add a little bit into the old wine. Okay. There's just a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit that's left in there. So let me just get this mixed a little bit. And it's not as uh, opaque as the other one, but I'm okay with that. I just wanted to add a little bit going in this uh, holder. Okay, so that part is done. This one. All right, I have more of the black than anything. That's what it seems like. So what I'm gonna do is just pour me some spots, okay? Just pour me some spots. It's nothing that's going to be like extravagant, okay? I'm just doing something. All right. Let's put a little bit right here. Just to make sure. There is some everywhere. So now I'm gonna go with my, oh gosh, it really does need a little bit, but I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead. A little bit there. I don't have a lot of this, uh, this pearl white. So I'm just gonna let it go wherever it can go. Okay. bit of this old wine go to some places here a 
rest of this out. There. Um, I have some more of this black, so I'll just fill it into places that I can use it. Yes, I am. So that don't look too bad. Um, some more there. Some more here. So you're just adding wherever you can add, okay? really like to have some more of that uh, this pearl white but I don't think I got any more to spare to even get out or any of that So that's all of that one. And I have just this little teeny tiny tiny bit of clear. Almost there. So now, <laughs> finally, well, see if I can get a little bit out of here. Where it needs to go, honey. Put it where it needs to go. Okay, now, what I'll do now it's just um like get all of my items and move them away i need to go ahead and use my heat gun for a second okay so um let me remove my glove because it is really 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 sticky grab my heat gun for a second
I don't see bubbles, you know, but I just want to make sure that if there are any, then we can definitely get those taken care of. Okay. It's a lot of heat, but I'm okay with it. Let's see, there's a little, a little bit going on there. So. I'm gonna try to use my alcohol, all right? At a very, very distant area. Okay, so I let that mist get up there. Hopefully it will take care of it. I'm not sure. I see a little bit of bubbles right here, but this is from the last pour that I've done. So a little bit more of this alcohol. Um, it can it cannot hurt it, so I'm fine with that. I'm just going at an angle with this. Um, and gonna let it just float back in by itself. All right, back out by itself, I'm sorry. And I do need to add some more in here, okay? But I'm not gonna keep you on that part. Let me take you down for a closer look. Okay. Look like we are ready for Halloween, baby. <laughs> We ready for Halloween with those eyes right there. Ooh, scary. So I'm gonna add a little bit more in here. Um, sorry for the reflection, okay? Totally sorry. So that that one right there, that that's cool. That's really cool, I, I like that. But I'll be right back. Okay. So I had to make sure I had my mess together. So this, I'm going to make this my top instead of this because I don't like that. So I'm just going to turn this over. I'll keep, let me see. And these uh, little holders here, they would not like um, stick on, stick on the inside. I forgot to make sure about that part as well so i'm just gonna use my uv okay use my uv i got my uv lamp well flashlight i'm sorry i'm just gonna put a little bit on here it don't need much y'all it really don't a little bit on this end Okay, and I'm gonna try to just remain on these little blocks here. It's hard, it's hard to remain on those blocks, but I think that's it right there. So I'll add my UV light to get it cured a little bit. can't move it. I think I've moved one side or the other. I don't know. I just go back and forward. I probably should have got the lamp to do it so it would be faster. But as long as it can hold for a second, then I'll put the lamp on it. So while I'm waiting on that, turn that off. Go over here on this side and make sure this is done. Just a little bit, don't take much. I'll leave a link for 
this UV as well. Oops, now that was a lot. We can share. Okay, close my UV because I won't need that anymore. I'm just gonna make sure that I try to line up with these little holes here. Uh, maybe a hair over a little bit. Mm. So I'm going to take it as that. Let it cure for a second. I'll keep my lamp. But I, I will do that so that um, you won't have to go through all of that with me, okay? Make sure this is still in frame. And of course, this is the bottom. Okay. I've used Total Bolt, um, high performance epoxy resin. So, I like it. I like the Total Boat. I like it, honey. It's worth a try. I want to do it. Um, I want to do some more projects with it. Because I don't know why I chose this one. But I hadn't done it in a, in a while. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to um, do this coaster set here. So, this is how it is. Okay. And I'm just going to stand it up. Stand it up here. And these, hopefully, they're not too thick. Oh, boy. Okay, that one isn't. That one isn't. That one isn't. Oh, goodness. I must be on the roll. Uh-oh, this one seems to be a little... A little thick I'm not gonna force it especially not now but this is the way they go in okay and you see um, the feet right so for me total bird total boat will work for me and it did cure um, you know, I was saying that I didn't see like a cure time and it's because, you know, depending on where you're working, like if it's really warm, then it's going to cure faster. If it's cold, then it'll cure slower. So depending on what you have, you know, um, where you are, that's, that's how it's going to be. So you have to just go along with the flow and hopefully everything, um, will not cure too quick, but quick enough, okay? So I will take a picture of all of this for my crafty creators. I'll take a picture and I I may go around the edges and I'm, I may not, I don't think I'm gonna waste the, uh, the ink. I'm just gonna let it stay as it is. But you know, it did turn out fine and it was just total boat that I was curious about. So I like it, y'all. Um, give it a shot. You'll see me doing it a, a few more times because um, I like to give resin a, a really, I, I like to use the full bottle in order for me to know, you know, if that's going to actually work for me or if it's not going to work for me. So, yeah. This is this is cute, Halloweeny. <laughs> Halloweeny, is that a word, Halloweeny? <laughs> How about it? So they did they did nice, but that eye right there. I'm trying to get it so it won't be having that reflection on it. You see that eye? Oh, oh my gracious! Let me let me get him another eye that's kind of messed up a little. Oh, we're gonna give him this eye right here. <laughs> How about that? 
looks upside down. Let's do it this way. How about that monster? <laughs> All right, you guys. I will see you a little later. Okay. But that, friend, you see that? In the back. The back. Let me hold my hand right here like this. No reflection. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So beautiful. I love them. Okay, so I will see you all the next time. I will take a picture. Um, please like it if you would. Let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know your thoughts on Total Boat. I like them. I will be trying them some more. So let me know. Um, leave it in the comments. I'll leave a link to... Um, uh, I think I would have a discount code, but I'll make sure of that. But um, just check it anyway when you see the uh, notification come up. You know, check back um, if you're still here at this time. So I will speak to you all later. Bye-bye.